Yes, we here at Madison Street Kroger are proud to host the Titans Caravan and we're excited about everyone that's come out to join us. I um, want to say thank you for supporting the Titans and also for supporting uh, your Madison Street Kroger. Insurers is proud to be a sponsor of the 2012 Titans Caravan. Uh, we also appreciate Grange Insurance and their involvement. We're glad to be in Clarksville tonight and we hope everybody enjoys the caravan and meeting the players and the team. Kind of a relaxing time to get a chance to meet some fans today. Yeah, it should be a lot of fun. Uh, a lot of times we meet all the fans in Nashville and on and around there. So getting a chance this is my first time actually in Clarksville to meet some of the fans I have. I'm excited about it. First stop is Clarksville. You've already been to Bowling Green, been to Hopkinsville. Talk about just getting out to see parts of the state like you're going to do as, as the rest of the trip evolves. Oh, I'm excited about it. Uh, this is my first time really traveling. I've done a little bit, but uh, most of the time you're in Nashville, so getting to see a little bit more of what Tennessee has to offer is an exciting time. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Talk about the interaction with the fans, the fact that you get to see them face to face for, you know, for Instead of in the 70,000, it's going to help you feel. Oh, I love that part. Uh, fans only get to see us with our helmets on and equipment. So uh, them getting a chance to see who we are as people, a lot of that's done through social media nowadays. So uh, me tweeting and Facebooking about the events and having fans coming out and getting a chance to meet them, I love that aspect of it. Early reaction? What's the early reaction been just at the first day so far? Uh, exciting. Uh, you're meeting a lot of people. Uh, other guys, I think uh, Hasselbeck and Roos made the other stops, so they'll be meeting me here. So I'm excited to see uh, what their take has been on it so far. And of course, got to talk to the photos real quick. Draft stuff. Uh, just talk about your, your team's draft. Uh, I'm excited about it. Uh, we got a guy, Kendall Wright, who is a, a, a great player in the first round, and then a linebacker in the second, and so on. Uh, we got a lot of defensive needs in the draft, a corner, a safety, as well with a defensive end. So uh, whenever you get guys that are coming in, and you know the front office is bringing in guys that's going to help us win games, you're excited about it. And then uh, you're also excited to get some of that rookie hazing going. So <laughs> can't wait. That's the real fun part. <laughs> exactly. I imagine some fun battles between you and Kendall this summer then, in the future? Oh, yeah, definitely, man. Uh, between Kendall Wright, uh, Kenny Britt, Nate, uh, Hog, Damian, Mark. Uh, there's going to be a lot of battles going on there between uh, the group wide receiver core we have in our second How nice is that to have those good receivers maybe push you guys defensively? Oh, it's a great thing. Uh, I went to school with Kenny, so we battled against each other for three years, and then now the three years that we played on the Titans. So uh, whenever you can get that type of competition in practice, it's going to help you for the game. You're out here interacting with the fans. What's uh, what's twin brother up to these days? You get a chance to stay close to him? Uh, hopefully he's uh, sitting back and relaxing and not doing anything. So. Uh, when it comes to week one, we can beat up on them. <laughs> so, you guys stay pretty close in touch, especially over the summer and everything, oh, I yeah. can imagine. Yeah, you definitely. mentioned the Twitter, you got to sign one, sign off on who's yeah, tweeting yeah, at that yeah, point. Yeah, definitely. Uh, we got to combine Facebook and Twitter. And we're staying in touch all the time. I was just home with them uh, yeah. this weekend for Rutgers oh, Spring Games. So we're always uh, busting each other's tops. There wasn't a chance for a caravan in an off season last year because of the lockout. How refreshing is it to have that opportunity this year? Oh, that's a great thing. The fans definitely enjoy it. As players, we enjoy it. Uh, coming out to different places and meeting the fans and uh, they, they support us a lot showing up to games and you really don't get a chance to see them face to face and take pictures and sign autographs so I think what us as players are just excited as much as they are. Hi, I'm Andy Hollis with Man Smith & Cummings Insurance here in Clarksville and we represent Grange Insurance and they are sponsoring getting the players, the Titans players here to Clarksville so that we can meet the players and it's great to have them come in and they're a great company to to have your insurance with. Um, I'm excited about it. There's a, a crowd building here, and sorry you didn't get out here to make it, but we're glad that Grange and the Titans came to Clarksville. Fans have been kind of part of this. It's been a fun day. You know, this is our sixth stop. Uh, been to a couple of elementary schools and a bunch of stops in Kentucky and Tennessee, so it's been fun being able to see everybody and uh, you know thank them for supporting us. Michael, kind of talk about difference this year after having everything scratched last year because kind of the lockout now having all the LTEAs and everything coming up kind of the difference uh, approaching this year well it's that it's good for us you know we had a new coach and coaching staff last year and uh, not being able to have an off season I think it might have hurt us a little bit this season you know we still finished okay but I think having that this year all the workouts and being able to have LTEAs in practice and We'll be able to fine tune and hope things for the season will be good for us. And for an offensive line, you guys have pretty much, for the most part, stayed intact for a while now. 
just kind of talk about the, the development, the ongoing development that you guys have. Well, there's always little tweaks. You know, we tweak some things. Added Steve Hutchinson, and yeah. which I think will be great for us. You know, guy with his experience and uh, you know leadership and uh, expertise, uh, it'll be good for our whole line to get that kind of guy in there and uh, help us get that much better. Is it hard to believe it's been eight seasons now? It is at times, yeah. It's uh, sometimes it feels like it's yesterday, and other times it definitely feels like eight years. Does it feel like you've played in what, I think 112 straight now? Uh, my body feels like that, yeah. <laughs> I don't necessarily feel that way. My body does. Yeah, just talk about the fact you guys first, you know, second year coach now. You guys still went nine and seven. A couple little plays here and there for the playoffs, and you know, forward that into this season with that. It is. I think that's the stuff that we can hopefully, you know, fine tune during the off season and uh, not have those little lapses here and there to be able to really push forward and work that much harder towards having a good season. You know, the first round pick was spent on the running back. You've got a great, uh, on, the, on the receiver, uh, you know, from Baylor, you've got a great running back. You've got two great quarterbacks. Seems a lot of a lot of expectations for the offense. I think we have a chance to be very uh, exciting and explosive on offense. You know, I, the addition of Kendall Wright, I think, will be good. You know, it's still tough to see what any of those rookies will do. Uh, that's the reason the OTAs will be good, give them a chance to get on the field as opposed to the training camp being the first chance. So. Um, but I think there's a good chance of us, you know, bringing that all together during uh, OTAs and mini camps and be a good unit. You mentioned Hutch. What does he bring to the table? You had a chance to sit down and talk with him yet? Yeah, I mean, he's been at workouts with us so far since we started last week. So he's, you know, he's a leader. He's a veteran guy. He's been around. He's seen it all. So he's got a lot of experience and uh, can bring that all to the table and, you know, help us in any way he can. Between him and Hasselback, you got two of the quote unquote pros, pros all right there in one offense. How, yeah, and how they, fun you know, is that? And they played together so they know each other well and uh, have that good rapport and uh, it's good. Anytime you can have leadership like that in the entire locker room, not just on offense, it, uh, it definitely helps you out. You expecting this big of a crowd? We were not, no. <laughs> but we'll get in there as fast as we can and start signing. Good deal. Thanks, Mike. Yeah. All right, appreciate it. Yeah. I'm Cheryl Kent with Grange Insurance Company and we are thrilled to death to be here sponsoring this event. Range Insurance Company has been offering products in the through the independent agency program um, for since 1935, and we are thrilled to be in your neighborhood and having agents and policyholders from this area. Hi, and I'm Kitty Lowe. I'm also with Grange Insurance, and as Cheryl said, we love to insure everyone in the area. We love the Titans. We're thrilled to be a sponsor. Please go see one of our independent agents and go Titans! Personally, I'm more Like you guys have had a pretty busy day. Kind of talk about the opening day of the caravan. Right? Yeah, it's been a busy day. Uh, Mike Roos started at like eight o'clock this morning. Uh, I actually went to the workout that the team had this morning, and then jumped on a bus right after that. So it's been a long day. The support's been awesome, but uh, we've been all around Tennessee. We we're up in Kentucky. It's been uh, it's been fun. For you guys that are making the transition, second year coach Munchak, new coordinators, can you kind of reflect on what that last year was? Uh, not ended up going nine and seven. Well, it was a it was a decent year, but we know we're capable of better, and we're going to try to uh, do a lot better this year, a lot more this year. And I think having the off season will probably help us. Just being together, especially with some guys at, at key positions, quarterback obviously being one, um, not brand new to the team, to the system, and stuff like that should help. In the LTA, something again you guys didn't have last year for obvious reasons. So. Right, and I, you know, I think the, the OTAs are important, but more than anything, I think it's just getting to know your teammates, getting to know the people you work with, just getting that, that chemistry, that bond. Um, you know, that just makes life a lot easier. You have four or five really good wide receivers, and you added to that depth this this past week. Can you kind of reflect on your receiving core, kind of expectations of those guys? Well, I'm happy with the receiving core that we have, and then we went and added a guy in the first round. So, uh, you know, he's a. Uh, He's a rookie, so we're going to treat him like a rookie. We're not going to do anything. Uh, we're not going to roll out the red carpet for him necessarily. He'll have to earn his stripes 
from the guys that have been here and already done it. But uh, you know, for our team to think so highly to draft him right there, they must have really liked him. And, and I'm excited about the opportunity of just you know working with another explosive playmaker. You had Nate that had a career year last year. Jared that really started emerging at the end of the year. I mean, it seems like you've got more weapons. Yeah, Jared Cook's a guy that uh, you know as a tight end he gives us uh, matchup situations. Uh, whether the team wants to cover him with a linebacker or safety, you know he's one of those guys. He's six foot six and he's fast and you know he can play. So um, he'll be he'll be big for us this season. Early on, just give me a sense of what you felt from the fans and their expectations for you guys for next year. Well, it's just uh, it's kind of humbling to see the the support in the off season. There's no game. People are coming out. Um, you know, we really don't have too much to offer other than a handshake, a hello, and, uh, and a couple pictures and autographs and stuff. So it's uh, it's been fun, um, not just only here in Tennessee, but even up north in Kentucky. I mean, there's a lot of Titans fans up there too. So it was it was really great to see. Second year for you. Talk about your acclimation to the to the area, to the team, and everything like that. Well, the first year I really just tried to learn my teammates as well as I could. Not not even my teammates, my offensive teammates. Um, and then the coaching staff. And so now that I've been here a little bit, you can kind of catch my breath and breathe a little bit, and getting to know the rest of the team, the rest of the building, the area, and stuff like that. So it's been a really good transition for us that we've been having. And the first pick was an offer to pick. It's like Christmas comes in April. Just talk about that excitement, though. Well, I mean, again, I, mean, I don't want to give the rookies too much credit for our team. You know, they're, they're going to have to earn their stripes. And, um, the better your team is, the less you're relying on rookies to save the day. I mean, the teams that are relying on that, you know, they're, they're the teams that usually pick early in the draft. So hopefully we're not one of those teams. You also bring in an old friend in Hutchinson. What's that? What's that been like? And what are you? What are your thoughts on adding him to the it's team? It's been great having Hutch back. I mean, he's a physical, physical player, tough guy, leader. Been on uh, you know teams with great runners, um, pretty much everywhere he's ever been. So. It's a good addition to an already strong group, in my opinion. I thought it was kind of tough. You add him, your thought of as uh, you know, one of the pros, pros, and it seems like you guys got a really strong bond building now. Here in Nashville. Yeah, well, I mean, if you look at just our left side of our line right now with uh, Mike Roos and Steve Hutchinson, I mean, that's as good of a combination as you'll find anywhere. And then, obviously, we've got good players on, on the rest of the line that, that nobody knows their name, but that doesn't mean they're not good. And so uh, it's a good start. I mean, obviously, with... Uh, with you know what we have building right now, but it takes everybody. But I think it's a good start for our team. Fun off season for you guys with Jake's gonna be coming in. Uh, how healthy is that? Gonna be a fun. Looking yeah, forward to that. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's been great. I mean, just um, having every everybody back in town working out together has been fun. It's been competitive. Um, you know, whether it's weight room stuff or running on the field or making up games. Like we made up this game the other day with, with rugby balls and just you know you're not allowed to use footballs, so it was like a like playing at recess kind of thing. So it's been fun just being competitive with the guys in the offseason. Were you surprised that they went offensive in the first round? Well, um, I think you got to look at the, you know, everything as a group, you know, as a whole. And so I think at the end of the day, uh, we drafted uh, maybe five um, defensive players and two offensive. And, you know, so if you look at look at it that way, the, the draft was slanted more defense. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I don't know that everyone expected us to draft a receiver in the first round, but you know, that's the draft. They always say they take the best available, and um, looks like that's what we did. You've had a lot of experience with drafts. I mean, you, last year you got, you, you were probably a little surprised that they selected a quarterback this year. No, you're like, okay. Well, no, I mean, I just think looking back on my career, I try to put names to the, to the rounds. You know, last year we drafted Tommy Campbell in the seventh round which you think, oh, it's just the seventh round pick, but in my opinion, Tommy Campbell is going to be a really, really good corner uh, in this league. So I try to put names to it, you know, whether you're drafting the seventh round, first round, second, at this point, it doesn't matter. The drafts happen now, you know, now it matters, uh, can you help the team win? And, and uh, I don't think the coaches care anymore, you know, if you're drafted high or low or even drafted at all. I'll do it. Yes, okay. thank, thank you. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. Thanks.
perfect. Beautiful. Marvelous. Thank you. Sorry. Hi, I'm Courtney Fish. This is our daughter Kendall and my husband Sasha's Fish. Um, we think it's really great that the players came out and did this for the families and the fans. Um, we really enjoy football. Our daughter is a big football fan and we appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks, y'all. Thank you. Hope you're working this line, huh? Great. I'm Dave Mason, came out to the caravan today to see the Titans, uh, looking forward to this season, came to see Matt, get my jersey signed, plan on wearing it in the uh, preseason opener in Seattle, so go Titans. from Bowling Green, Kentucky because we missed him by like five minutes and so we spent real fast that we got here just so we could see Matt because I love Matt. Oh, he's so hot. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much. I'm Debbie. I'm Cassidy. And we come out to all these we have for years. So this, so fun. this has been wonderful tonight. Always a pleasure. Awesome time. Thank you. Bye. Give her a poster. Yeah. 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 What's up, man? Good job. Wow. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, well, you stick it up down there. You're welcome. There you go. How are you now? Go Titans. Go Titans. So glad to see Jason McCourty here. He's one of my favorite players. I love the Titans. Yeah. Oh, who's out there? Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, he's looking over his shoulder. Okay, let's sit still. Your stalker's bad. I got my stalker on Facebook. It's when you say that. Say that, Debra. Here we go. Hi, Paul. Oh, my God. She can't stop. She can't stop. She can't stop. She can't stop. Okay, here we go. Hey, I'm Tina. That ass is back. It's awesome. I'm Jason. Go Titans. Joseph, go tight. It's fun to see what everybody's bringing to have a sign on the side. That's fine. You're going to just pick them up down there and they'll have one that with all their signatures on it. Sandra Parnell. All of them. You're so sweet. Go Titans. Go Titans. Go Titans. Jackson. Yeah, well, Eric. Mary Matthews. Say thank you. Thank you very much. There you go. Okay. Stay in front of him. Stay in front of him. Let him sign it. Let him sign it. Okay. okay, you gotta turn around so I can I gotta get you a picture. Hold on. You gotta wait till you start signing. Awesome. Hi, 
I'm Jordan. I'm Scott. And my favorite player is Chris Johnson. My favorite player is Hassan. He's the best. <laughs> Hey, shout out from Titans fans from Clarksville, Tennessee. We want to thank to all of you. Uh, say thank you for everything that y'all do and to all the soldiers serving overseas. Uh, we thank y'all very much too. And uh, go Titans 2012, baby. Yeah, right. 16 and 0, Super Bowl bound. Yeah. Yeah, right here, Locker. It's our quarterback of the future. We're gonna win five Super Bowls with him at least. Got this, Jake White Chocolate Locker. Mark the Magician Mariani. And be Rob. T-Rack. 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 Always gotta have T-Rack. Oh yeah.